So I've not only got one, but two Attack on Titan booster boxes to open in today's video. You may have seen the last video where I opened just one box and I managed to hit the Eren two star signed card here. So absolutely amazing. I couldn't believe my luck pulling that as it is a case hit. Now, these two boxes took a little while longer to come. I ordered from a different site and they've only just turned up. So these have come a week later and yeah, let's see if I can get super lucky again and hit another signed card or, or could we just imagine and think how amazing it would be if I could actually pull one of the pen signed serialized cards, right? There's a chance. There is a chance that it could happen. You know, I know I'm not opening cases and cases, but we just don't know. Like, it could happen. But yeah, let's get these out, get these booster packs out, and get into this opening and see what we can get. And at a minimum, we're probably looking at at least a, a one star per box. So let's see what we can do. Is my Union Arena Attack on Titan luck going to just keep blessing me with some crazy pulls let's see if we can do it um yeah i i do really enjoy opening union arena to be honest at the moment i think let's move these over i think when you're opening a booster box and obviously obviously i'm going to compare this to why schwarz because that is mainly what i was collecting so I feel like as an opening experience, it's nicer than Y Schwarz because you're getting like four SRs in every box. Um, oh, and we've hit an SR in the second pack. So yeah, look at that. That is an SR. You're getting four of them in a box and they have got texture on them. I'm sure you can see some of that texture coming through on the sort of background of the card. And yeah, I, j I just think doing that, you know, having texture on the SRs and you're getting four of them per box. I, I think it just makes for a nice opening experience. Even if you only hit that one star SR in the box, I think when you compare that to why Schwarz from a collector perspective, from an opening perspective, their equivalent is double rares and they just look like rares, right? So they just look exactly the same as a rare. They're just uh, harder to pull. So um, obviously that is just like a rare for Union Arena. Um, and yeah, I guess I guess it is similar to their SRs, but they are adding texture to their SRs and you're getting like a different character design on that. Um, so it just, it feels like you get more, even though like realistically, you know, it's, it's exactly the same. The double res and the SRs are kind of the same sort of rarity and the same amount of hits per box. It's just, it feels better that you get texture on it that it just seems like it just seems better the, the designs on some of the SRs go extra hard as well like um I can't remember the one I got in my first opening but uh one of them really stood out to me so they have some really nice SR designs um I don't know why I started to make a pile of rares and then decided not to actually put the rares there so yeah, let me know down below in the comments, did you even manage to pick up some of this product? It was extremely hard to get. It sold out and got allocated as far as I'm aware. And oh, second SR. So we've got a Levi SR there. So yeah, I just think, I think they do a great job with the SRs and, and it makes a much better opening experience than it would when you get double res in Y Schwarz. And that's not to say that you know, why Schwarz isn't still fun to open, don't get me wrong, there's completely different sets, completely different IPs, the cards are different, and, and I can't lie, why Schwarz texture, they do an incredible job. I, I think out of all of the TCGs, all of the cards I've ever owned, the texture on why Schwarz cards are just insane. Like, oh, we've hit a one star on this one here, right, so... This is the one star of the box, but I know I kind of made a mistake in the last video that if I get a two star, you still get the one star. So the two star, if you hit it, will replace the one star. Let's see if we can just get this angled 
really nice. I feel like it looks better in person. Like I'm looking down at this at a different kind of view. Let me see if I can get the same same kind of view in. Like you can see all of this like stamping and foiling. So honestly, like th this is a one star. You're getting like something like this as a minimum rarity in every booster box, and you've got this incredible like all of this silver foiling, all of this silver edge around the borders and stuff like that's all like hot stamped on the card i just it's really hard to kind of show off um so that level of detail that foiling the amount it's just the texture on it how shiny it is like it's looking at this in person it just looks insanely shiny right so there we go that's the one star from the first booster box but yeah so obviously that means there's not a two star but i think correct me if i'm wrong guys I think because the free star is not mapped in any way, um, it's beyond sort of like a case hit. I believe you can get the free star in any box. So if you pull a one star, there could still be a free star there. If you pull a two star, uh, you can also get a free star in that box. I know someone who's pulled a two star and a free star from the same box. Now, obviously, the chances of that are quite low because the two star is a case hit, but um or, or maybe it was an error box to be honest but it has happened so i think that's always really nice because it you know to you know there's not a huge chance but you still need to keep going right you still need to keep going and obviously there still could be an action point there still could be a, a signed action point card as well so um i like the fact that there's kind of mapping involved but it's also done in a way where there might be dead boxes but also those dead boxes could have a free star in them those dead boxes could have you know a, a, a signet pen signed card like y you do need to keep going because there is a chance that something big could still be in there and they're not guaranteed to be boxes that are only going to have a one star and there's going to be a chance of something greater so that's something that Weiss Wars, in my opinion struggles with so and third sr from the box is that you know if, if you know it's one ssp two sp per case as soon as that you know as soon as they've been hit the case is over right i think the only set recently where that was different and i kind of didn't consider this when it came out but looking back now it's it makes sense right when they released chainsaw man you had the Chainsaw Man Rare, which was above a case hit. So can't remember the case hits exactly. I'd imagine one one SSP, two SP kind of standard rates, right? But having that hit that's beyond a case hit that might be one in three cases, it it means that actually those dead boxes or what might normally be dead boxes are actually the boxes that have a higher chance of pulling the chase card and the most expensive card in the set so um they actually um, maybe that's kind of what they were experimenting with um the problem with that is i think that set in general like the sps were very cheap so basically if you bought a case and didn't <laughs> didn't hit that chainsaw man rare makima you know the chase cards like you've you've lost a lot of money opening that product just because the the sps and things weren't really worth much um but it was it was good to see them i guess doing that because it like i said it does add to that well you know we've hit the, the case hits oh and i guess this is the fourth sr from that box we're on the last pack of that first box so looks like that first box was just the standard one star rarity pull which you know is going to be common um considering the two stars going to be one per case there's an action point that's going to be one per case and then obviously the three star is even even less likely it's not guaranteed per case so chances are most of the boxes you open it are going to be those one star one star hits but i mean it looks fantastic it looks amazing you get those four textured srs as well so let's see what's in this second box 
Oh, there's something here. Oh, first pack. And we hit a one star. Right, so it's done. This one star is done in a very similar sort of kind of design, colours, the way we've got that silvering around the edges. We've got some character, some character sort of stamped at the top. But yeah, I mean, considering it's a, a hit her box, I think it's incredible. And I don't know if it's coming through, but that that shot um, from behind, that's got a bit of texture across it as well. Honestly, I think even just looking at the screen, I feel like it looks better in person. And it's, it's annoying I can't show it in the same way that, that I'm, I can see it. Maybe that's a bit better. Some of that texture is coming through now. But there we go. We've hit the one star out of the first pack, but as I said, it doesn't mean there's nothing else in there, right? There could be an action point, there could be a sign, a pen sign serialized action point card, there could be a free star. Like, we need to keep going and see if I can pull anything else. Oh, and straight into another. SR that is really nice I haven't seen that one look at that texture as well that texture on the card is really popping through at that angle you can really see that texture across it that that's so nice that's what I mean some of the SRs like the designs are just a little bit more different and yeah they just they just do do something a bit different chuck a sort of different texture on it I just yeah the, I think the designs are really good I think what they're doing with the sets it's just it's just really nice um and I, I think everyone's enjoying it i think everyone is just really enjoying um union arena right now and i think a lot of that came from the fact they started doing these pen sign serialized cards i feel like that added such a huge boost in interest and just in people wanting to pick up some of this wanting to open it obviously we've got the fact that it's coming to english later this year so Perhaps that uh, helps sort of gain some more interest into some of the sets that are coming out. And we got an SR. So yeah, this was the the other SR from my first box, which I mentioned just looks incredible. Like it looks different to some of those other SRs I've got. You've got obviously her name on the right hand side. And just again, look at the texture on the background coming through. Just really nice. Really, really nice considering it's not even like a, like a box hit. You're getting four SRs minimum per booster box it's just it's just a really nice touch makes those openings so much better and yeah i mean thinking of like why shores there are some sets where you open a box and the standard the typical rate is you're going to get like an sr and a triple rare and it's just like i don't know it just doesn't it just doesn't feel like enough enough cards enough hits for booster box um i've always really enjoyed it when they've done like three hits per box just increase that i think i want to say hollow live or azure lane sort of had that um but like you could just really tell you could just really notice the difference of like getting some extra hits and we've got the third sr whoa look at that again look at the texture pattern on the background of this card so yeah I feel like these SRs I'm getting in this second box have all just been like incredible. So nice to see if I can get a bit closer. Look at that. Like the detail. I love how they've got the foiling on the eyes of all of these characters. Like even on my two star signed card, Eren's eyes are like foiled the same way as they are here. Just looks amazing. And look at that texture. Just incredible. Right, we've hit three srs so potentially we've got one more sr to get but we've still got quite a few packs left so we don't know there could be there could be something else waiting in this box and we're about to find out so let's see what else we can pack so just a rare now so yeah we've got one two three we've got five packs left one's got an sr in has another pack got something else in and my stack of cards is now getting far too big <laughs> that i'm nearly hitting the microphone <laughs> right let's get 
back into it. What can we do? Oh, and we've got a Mikasa SR, so our final SR. So I feel like these ones, like the ones with the red borders, are a bit more basic. And then like these three that I got here, which is like, they, I feel like they the design, the texture is just way better for some reason. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just the poses as well. Like it's literally, I mean, I suppose it's the same with Historia, but at least her background's a bit different. But even though, even with that said, like you're getting texture on these SRs, they don't look like rares. They do look really nice. Um, it's just they've made some absolutely amazing SRs as well. Um, right, are we getting something else? Are we going to have a nice big hit, a nice action point, or a free star? Or has my luck run out? Or, you know, I know I, <laughs> I haven't pulled anything in ages until I hit that two star Aaron. So maybe that was it. Maybe that was it. But yeah, there, there we go. You see the, the foiling in his eyes. And I, I think it works really well. It looks really cool. They've done a great job. Um, I remember they did mention about like a reprint. But I don't think I've heard anything since. And if they do reprint, there won't be... The, it's very unlikely there be those serialized cards put in them because they've done a reprint with another set and missed them out. So last pack, can we do it guys? Are we going to hit something massive? Or has my luck run out and I've got to wait another six months? Yes I do. So we end on a rare. We've got our two ones, whoop, nearly dropped him. One star pulls here and some absolutely stunning srs in the background as well so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video nothing big but just looking at those one stars like that you're getting a minimum per box amazing literally amazing i think it's incredible so i hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit like and subscribe and as always thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video